Hey, good morning, everyone. Okay, how exciting is it to be here today? Awesome. Well, thank you all for gathering here today to celebrate the landmark project as we break ground on the San Diego Air Park Redevelopment Project, which includes a general aviation fixed-based operator with a new Customs and Border Patrol facility and over one million square feet of commercial industrial space. It is my honor to welcome our distinguished dignitaries and their representatives who have joined us here today. The Honorable Todd Gloria, Mayor of San Diego. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Mr. Rich Zwayze, Deputy Administrator for Airports with the FAA. He's coming all the way from DC to see this project come to fruition. Thank you so much for the attention that you're giving to this important project for, at Brownfield. Uh, Ms. Genevieve Fong with Congressman Vargas Office. R Ryan Williams with U.S. Senator uh, La Ponce's Butler's Office, over there to my right. Jesse Schmithy and, and Thomas Lothong with State Senator Padilla's Office. Lisa Schmith with Assemblyman Albert's Office. I would also like to welcome Rafael Perez, board member of the San Diego Regional Airport Authority. And a couple of people that I cannot leave out, I would like to welcome Mr. Mark McClarty. Uh, he's, the he's the director of airports for the FAA's Western Pacific region, and he's been a champion for this project. So has been Catherine Kaysen with the FAA. He's the airport district office manager from LA. And they've been, again, part of this project, really supporters from day one. In addition, I would like to welcome all of the development entities and community partners that are here today, including Alejandro Mir Iterán, CEO of the Otay Mesa Chamber of Commerce. Okay, a couple more recognitions. Furthermore, I would like to welcome the city's Economic Development Department Director, my boss and airport fan numero uno, Christina Bibler, <laughs> and all the city staff present who have put a lot of effort into this project. I would also like to welcome Casey Smith, Deputy Chief Operating Officer. He's here with us today. And, and last but not least, I would like to welcome Mr. Stu Lichter, founder of IRG Realty Advisors LLC, and that is the parent company of the San Diego Air Park LLC project that we have going on today. Mr. Mr. Lichter has seen the vision for, for this project and has had um, some of the best people that I've worked with working uh, alongside him. Rex Massey, he's been a key to this project, and Jason Banitali, who is all here from New York. Thank you for being here. I'll just give you a minute or two of what we're doing here today. So today's break, groundbreaking symbolizes not just the start of construction, but the beginning of a new area, era for Brownfield Airport and the region. The new state-of-the-art FBO with the new CBP inspection facility are designed to meet the highest standards of service and will provide for a fostering, welcoming, and professional environment while at the same time streamlining customs and immigration processes. This FBO will enhance Brownfield's appeal for domestic and international travel, which will result in additional tourism and trade. In tandem, the industrial portion of the development will serve as a catalyst for economic growth, foster entrepreneurship, and provide for additional employment. This groundbreaking ceremony is the result of years of planning, collaboration, and hard work between our elected officials, our current and former staff members, the FAA, IRG, and everyone that in one way or another have contributed to the project. Thank you all. This project will not only elevate our airport, but our whole community to the global stage. And talking about elevating, I would like to thank you again for coming, and we'd like to invite uh, up here uh, Mr. Todd Gloria, Mayor of San Diego. Thank you for the introduction, Jorge, and you, uh, he's very modest. We are lucky at the city of San Diego to have Jorge and the team uh, running our airport uh, operations here at Brownfield, Montgomery, does an incredible job. I'm forgetting, was it last year or year before, the airport uh, professional of the year? I mean, we're just so lucky in San Diego uh, to have his leadership, and today's just another example of that. So thank you for the introduction for all the hard work, Jorge. 
Let me just at the beginning, if you'll give me this opportunity, he introduced me as the mayor, which uh, I am. Uh, but uh, today, uh, some of you may know, I annually host a Mayor for the Day contest. Uh, it's a student uh, essay contest where we invite young people to suggest what they might do if they were mayor of the city for a day. Uh, fun fact, uh, I was the third runner up in that contest in 1989. <laughs> this has been a very long apprenticeship to get this job. <laughs> Uh, and when I became mayor, I wanted to resurrect it uh, because I remember how impactful it was for me as a, a fourth grader to come to City Hall and spend the day sort of looking and watching and everything happen. Uh, and so I'm actually joined today by this year's Mayor for the Day contest winner, Uma Awushekwa. Uh, he's here. So, Mr. Mayor, welcome. Nothing like breaking ground on something for you to have the full mayor experience, right? Uh, Uma wrote an incredible essay about the need for housing and homelessness action. Uh, it was absolutely phenomenal, stood out. It is obvious that he is meant to be here today. And uh, uh, watch this young man. You're going to see great things come from him uh, in the future. And in some ways, that's what today's about. Today's about the future. You know, every time I come to Otay Mesa, I see the future of San Diego. I see it in the incredible amount of industry and investment that's going here on the commercial side with the creation of jobs, uh, on the residential side, the booming community that's getting built here with homes that are priced a little more affordably than the rest of the city uh, in the amount of public investment in infrastructure, whether it's the new state route, uh, some of the other amenities, and importantly, a uh, new port of entry that will be, be built very, very soon. Uh, what I see is the future, the most vibrant part of our great city. And so it always brings me joy to come down uh, to Otay Mesa and see that firsthand and to really explain to the rest of our great city uh, the future of San Diego is here in Otay Mesa. Uh, that is the result of a lot of people I see in this audience who have believed in this community long long before and folks uh, knew it was down here. And so I thank you for your long-term investment and thoughts uh, about how we can move this community forward. And now today, the city's stepping up and we're meeting that same uh, level of intensity of investment of prioritization uh, with the redevelopment of Brownfield. You know, Brownfield has served this city extremely well for a very long time. But the fact of the matter is, it's time to step it up a couple notches. As Otay Mesa gets more vibrant and more activated, it is time that this airfield uh, step up and be able to be even more welcoming uh, to the jobs and the economic activity uh, that we need as a city to continue to thrive and to grow. Uh, Jorge hit a couple of these points, but I want to point out that this is the largest general aviation development on the West Coast. That's pretty remarkable. Uh, and this is a many, many years long pro uh, project. It's gonna take a long time to actually get the full thing done. Uh, but this first phase is pretty darn exciting. Uh, and what it'll do uh, is make this uh, a place that I think more folks will wanna utilize, uh, a place uh, where our partners uh, in the federal government, the FAA and CBP and others, uh, will be able to work with us, uh, I think, more efficiently and more effectively. Uh, and the bottom line is this, you know, as a mayor, you can think the bottom line is where I'm focused. Uh, this will uh, have an economic impact of 1.5 billion dollars for our region and support about 2,500 good paying local jobs. That's a reason for a mayor to be really excited, right? We're very excited about that. Exactly. <laughs> tell you, the kid's a pro. He's a natural. He's got it. Um, and so I will just say that uh, what a testament uh, to the, uh, the excitement that's here in San Diego, specifically at Otay Mesa, and I would say more broadly in our binational region. Uh, we are a stone's throw from our partners in Baja uh, and my I see uh, CBX is in the house. You know, it is interesting when you invest in this area, how well you'll do. And so the word is obviously out uh, that when you invest in Otay Mesa, when you invest in San Diego, when you invest in our border community, it is good for everybody. So this is a great day. And I'm glad to see so many folks here. This is a historic day. This is a day that you'll see many, many, many years from now. And you're going to be able to tell your grandkids, your great grandkids, I was there. You know, the way that we look at some of those black and white photos from all those years ago, you know, expanses like this that, you know, are very, very, very vacant. Um, uh, but then you come back, you know, 100 years later, think about like old Balboa Park photos, right? And, and you can now be a part of that. You're going to be able to say, I was there on that historic day when we took a public-private partnership a leap forward and saying we're going to do better in Otay Mesa and that everyone's going to benefit. So I'm glad that you can be a part of this historic occasion. I'm glad to be able to set it in that, in that context for you all. And I look forward to inviting you back to a ribbon cutting because the groundbreaking is fantastic, but a ribbon, ribbon cutting is so much better. Uh, and when we... <laughs> Bibbler's all about that too. I know she agrees. <laughs> uh, so uh, what a great, great day. And now I, I would tell you, uh, I, was I was joking a little bit earlier um, with, with Stu that I remember voting on the, for this as a city council member about 10,000 years ago. Um, it, it shows you that you know, good things come to those who wait. Uh, it's, 
It's been far longer than I would like. I'm sure it's longer than Stu and others would like, uh, but we are now here. And the fact that we're here is, is because we have incredible partners, and not the least of which is at the federal level. Uh, this is an incredible partnership with our partners at FAA, uh, folks who I've had opportunity to meet with on numerous occasions, and their representative joined us today to say a few words uh, as the Deputy Associate Administrator of Airports, uh, Rich Swayze. Rich, come on up. Well, thanks for having me here today. You're going to have to bear with me. I'm trying to go all electronic. Uh, all the younger people in my office think I should have done it 10 years ago, but uh, so we'll see how this works. Um, you know, I just want to start out. I think, uh, you know, I'm going to echo a lot of what the mayor said in the first place. Really uh, incredible effort by a lot of different stakeholders uh, here to get this thing off the ground. Uh, you talked about some of the impacts it'll have. Uh, you know, uh, we expect to have a total imp economic impact of about $1.5 billion for the region and about 2,500 jobs. That's that's real. That's tangible. And, and it's just, for me, sitting in D.C., seeing all this money go out, it's great to be here just to see something tangible happening out, out, out uh, where we're trying to make a difference. Um, I think the, the other thing that I'd really like to focus on is, and you picked up on this too, Mayor, this is the result of a lot of hard work from a lot of people over several years. Um, I'm going to reiterate, I want to thank Mark McClarty, our regional director here, and Catherine Kaysen, our ADO manager for this project. Um, what's different about this from a federal perspective is uh, if you work in the highways side at all, you know that, that there, the money sort of comes in and goes back out. Uh, there's not a lot of involvement there. But, but with airport funding, there is years and years of, of preparation for this. Uh, I think somebody said that it first started in 1964, this concept came out. Uh, and now we're, we're finally getting there with all the growth in the region and uh, r really, really uh, have a lot of uh, expectations for how well this project's going to do. So thank you, everybody. Uh, appreciate being here. And uh, it's, it'll be great to come back and, uh, for the ribbon cutting to see what it looks like at the end of the day. Thank you. Oh. Okay. And I want to introduce <laughs> Mr. Lichter. <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, I'm the, the, the last one up, but what I'd like to do is, um, we're the last one at the game here. Um, our great partners, the Bellsberg family, who had worked out this deal with the airport folks in the city many years ago and has worked really diligently and hard to make it happen, uh, invited us into the transaction roughly two or two and a half years ago. They've been fabulous partners. And uh, we are ecstatic to be here. I, I've been fortunate enough in my life to be able to be part of a lot of major redevelopments that create thousands and thousands of jobs and do wonderful things for communities. And um, I'd like to thank everybody here for welcoming us, even though we were late to the game, right, uh, with open arms and, and trying to cooperate with us in every way possible. You've all been terrifically great to work with. So this is a great day, right? This is a great day because you finally see the end of what's been a really long road, <laughs> right? Uh, when we looked at this property, uh, when we were invited to look at it, I'll tell you what I saw. I saw a vision of um, a development that equals anything I've ever seen. And we've done some major stuff, including, you know, we own the McClellan Airport and the McClellan base that up in Sacramento, and we operate that airport. But here, I saw a major city with an airport that was hugely constrained, right? And I saw that the Relieva Airport was in Mexico, right? And I think we have a fellow from CBX here, uh, who I think has the greatest real estate deal I've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> Because you have a situation here where there's an 8,000 car parking lot or something like that where they walk away over and people pay to park and walk with their luggage to Mexico and pay a lot of money to do it, right? And I think millions of people do that a year. Am I, am I correct in that? <laughs> yes. So, so all the great real estate deals I've done, congratulations. <laughs> But to me, 
that looked like opportunity. I saw everything developing around here that independent of the airport. I saw a project that would work just as an industrial development, right, and create thousands of jobs and a lot of opportunity. But I really saw the opportunity for a major, major aviation development, right? I, I believe that this airport will look nothing like this in the future, that this will be a significant airport to help the situation and the infrastructure of San Diego. And I can't tell you how excited I am to be, to be part of that, right? And I look forward to a lot of ribbon cuttings, not just one. <laughs> one ribbon cutting is great. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> more is better. But um, so now we'll get to the important part of the show, which is actually people grabbing shovels and picture taking, and um, we'll go on from there. So thank, thank you all for your great welcome. Right. All right, let's do it. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. All right.